The ocean, covering over 70% of our planet, is a realm of breathtaking beauty and profound mystery. For millennia, it has been home to a staggering diversity of life, from the tiniest plankton to the mighty blue whale. But today's oceans are only a shadow of their former glory. Beneath the waves lie stories of lost giants, creatures so immense and powerful they defy imagination. By exploring their world, we uncover epic tales of evolution, dominance, and disappearance, stories that hold vital lessons for us now. Join me as we journey back in time to meet the titans that once ruled the seas and reflect on the fragile nature of life on our blue planet. Imagine a time millions of years ago when the earth was vastly different. The landscapes were unfamiliar, the creatures that roamed the land were unlike anything we see today and the oceans teemed with giants. It was during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, a predator of unmatched size ruled the seas, a true behemoth, an absolute master of its domain, Carcharocles Megalodon, a name that echoes through the ages, a testament to a creature of immense power and terrifying beauty. This giant shark, a true leviathan of the deep, reaching up to 60 feet, a length comparable to a school bus, dwarfed even today's great whites, making them look like mere pups in comparison. It was a shark that redefined the meaning of apex predator. Its cavernous mouth, a gaping maw that could swallow a small car whole, lined with serrated teeth the size of human hands, each one a perfect cutting tool designed for maximum destruction, was built to slice through the largest marine mammals. No creature was safe from its immense power and insatiable hunger. Megalodon preyed on ancient whales, species that were themselves giants of the sea, seals and giant turtles their shells offering little protection against the megalodon's crushing bite, leaving fossilized bite marks, clear and undeniable evidence, as evidence of its brutal efficiency. It was a killing machine, perfectly adapted to its environment. To sustain its massive body, a body built for power and speed, it needed over a ton of food daily, a constant and relentless demand for sustenance, patrolling coastlines across the globe, a silent hunter always on the prowl. For millions of years, an almost unimaginable span of time, it was the ocean's apex predator, the undisputed king of the marine world. But Earth's climate began to cool, a slow but inexorable shift in global temperatures. Ice caps expanded, locking away vast quantities of water, and sea levels dropped, dramatically altering coastlines and marine habitats, shrinking Megalodon's hunting grounds. Its once vast territory began to constrict. Whales adapted, evolving new strategies and behaviors to survive in the changing environment, migrating to colder waters, seeking refuge in environments the megalodon couldn't tolerate, or evolving to evade the giant shark, developing new defenses and escape tactics. New predators emerged, smaller, but quicker and more agile, smarter, with complex social structures and hunting strategies and more adaptable, able to thrive in a wider range of conditions, competing for dwindling resources. The ocean's bounty was no longer limitless. Megalodon, a specialist, perfectly adapted to hunting large prey in warm waters, couldn't adapt fast enough to these rapid and dramatic changes. To the changing world, its reign was coming to an end. Around three and a half million years ago, a relatively short period in geological terms, the last of its kind vanished, disappearing into the depths, never to be seen again, leaving a void in the marine ecosystem a void that has never been truly filled. Its fossilized teeth, the only tangible remains of this magnificent creature, found on beaches worldwide, scattered across continents and oceans, remind us that even the mightiest can fall. No creature, no matter how powerful, is immune to the forces of nature. Megalodon's extinction is a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the consequences of environmental change, Dominance offers no immunity from the relentless pressures of a changing world, from environmental change. The story of the Megalodon serves as a warning for our time. The balance of life is delicate, a complex web of interconnected relationships. And today, that balance is shifting under the immense pressure of human activity faster than ever before. We must learn from the past and act now to protect the future of our oceans. The ocean's depths have been home to a myriad of creatures, each playing a vital role in the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. Among these, not all ocean giants were fearsome predators hunting for their next meal. Some, like Stellar's sea cow, a creature of immense size and gentle nature, carved out a peaceful existence. They were gentle herbivores, 
contentedly grazing on the lush underwater meadows of kelp forests. Their lives were a testament to the diversity of marine life. Discovered in 1741 during a time of great maritime exploration in the icy waters of the Bering Sea, this remarkable animal was a newcomer to the eyes of Western science. This massive relative of manatees, a gentle giant of the sea, was unlike anything the explorers had encountered before. It reached 30 feet in length, a truly impressive size for a marine mammal, and weighed up to 10 tons, making it one of the largest creatures in its environment. Its sheer size was a testament to the bounty of the kelp forests it called home. Perfectly adapted to the cold, kelp-rich waters of the Bering Sea, it thrived in an environment that would be inhospitable to many other marine creatures. It was peaceful, social, living in harmony with its environment and fellow sea cows. And tragically, it had no natural fear of humans, a trait that would ultimately lead to its demise. They were naturally curious and trusting creatures. Its thick skin and keratin plates, a unique adaptation to its environment, helped it graze on kelp, protecting it from the harsh conditions and allowing it to efficiently consume its primary food source. They lived in close-knit family groups, further emphasizing their social nature and reliance on one another. Tragically, this innocence, this lack of fear, proved fatal for the stellar sea cow. Shipwrecked sailors desperate for sustenance and later commercial hunters seeking profit found the sea cow's easy prey, an easily accessible source of food and valuable resources. They were slow, approachable, making them an easy target for hunters, and unable to escape the relentless pursuit of those who sought to exploit them. Their meat, a readily available source of protein, fat, valuable for oil and other products and hides were quickly exploited, fueling a rapid decline in their population. And their social nature, their tendency to stay together in groups, made them even more vulnerable to mass killings. With a slow reproductive rate, the sea cow population struggled to recover from the losses inflicted by human hunting. The population plummeted, a rapid and devastating decline that signaled the impending extinction of the species. In less than 30 years, a blink of an eye in evolutionary terms, relentless hunting drove Stellar's sea cow to extinction, a tragic testament to the destructive power of humanity. The last was seen in 1768, a solitary individual, a ghost of its former population, a species erased by human hands alone, a stark reminder of our capacity for destruction. Today, only bones, carefully preserved in museums and written accounts remain, offering glimpses into the life and tragic demise of this gentle giant. The story of Stellar's sea cow, a tale of discovery and destruction, is a stark reminder of humanity's power to destroy, to irrevocably alter the course of nature, and our responsibility to protect, to safeguard the remaining wonders of our planet, the wonders of the natural world, before they too become just bones and written accounts. Before Megalodon, the Jurassic Seas were ruled by the Pliosaur, a marine reptile of immense power. Imagine a crocodile's head on a whale's body, propelled by four massive flippers. Some, like Kronosaurus, reached over 40 feet with skulls six feet long and jaws built for bone-crushing bites. Pliosaurs were ambush predators, lurking in deep waters and launching upward attacks on plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, and giant cephalopods. Their four-flipper propulsion gave them both speed and agility, a unique evolutionary advantage. For tens of millions of years they dominated the oceans. But as the Cretaceous period advanced, new competitors like mosasaurs emerged and changing seas disrupted food webs. Highly specialized, pliosaurs struggled to adapt and eventually vanished. Their fossils reveal a world where monsters were real and their legacy is one of supreme predatory adaptation. The rise and fall of the pliosaur remind us that even the most formidable designs can be outpaced by evolution and environmental change. Long before whales and dolphins, another group of reptiles returned to the sea, the ichthyosaurs. Appearing in the Triassic, they evolved from lizard-like ancestors into streamlined, dolphin-shaped hunters. Their bodies, with powerful tails and large eyes, were built for speed and deep-water vision. Ichthyosaurs hunted fish and squid, and some fossils even show their last meals preserved inside. Remarkably, they gave birth to live young in the water, severing their last tie to land. For over 150 million years they thrived in diverse forms, from small porpoise-like species to giants rivaling modern whales. But their specialization made them vulnerable. Environmental changes and shifting food webs led to their slow decline. By 90 million years ago, ichthyosaurs had vanished, 
long before the dinosaurs end. Their story is one of pioneering adaptation and a warning that evolutionary success can also bring fragility. Let's embark on a journey, a voyage through time, far beyond the familiar shores of our present. We're diving deep into the Devonian, a period often celebrated as the Age of Fishes. Imagine a world teeming with aquatic life, a vibrant yet alien ecosystem unlike anything we see today. And here, in this ancient realm, we meet Dunkleosteus, a true titan of the deep. A creature so formidable, so uniquely equipped for survival, it earned the title, the Armored Terror. This placoderm fish, a now extinct class of armored vertebrates, could reach staggering lengths, growing up to 30 feet long. Picture a school bus lurking beneath the waves and you're beginning to grasp the sheer scale of this beast. Unlike the skeletons of modern fish, Dunkleosteus was largely encased in bony plates, a natural suit of armor providing unparalleled protection in a dangerous world. These plates weren't just for show, they were integral to its survival. But its most terrifying feature wasn't its size or armor but its jaws. Instead of teeth, Dunkleosteus possessed self-sharpening jaw blades, extensions of its skull that acted like massive shearing scissors. Imagine the speed and force. Its jaws could open in a split second, creating a vacuum, a sudden void in the water. This rapid expansion generated powerful suction, drawing unsuspecting prey directly into its deadly grasp. It was a feeding strategy of terrifying efficiency. Then with terrifying speed, those bony blades would snap shut with bone-crushing force, delivering one of the most powerful bites ever recorded in the animal kingdom. Dunkleosteus wasn't a picky eater. It preyed on anything it could catch, from smaller fish and invertebrates to larger, more formidable opponents. This included other armored fish, creatures that might seem impervious to attack, but against Dunkleosteus, few were truly safe and in a display of brutal efficiency, it even preyed on its own kind. Cannibalism was likely a common occurrence in the harsh Devonian seas. Despite its impressive armor, which offered significant protection, its body was likely streamlined, allowing for bursts of speed and agility, perfect for ambush attacks on unsuspecting victims. The Devonian seas were alien, a world of strange and wonderful creatures, a landscape sculpted by forces beyond our modern comprehension. These waters teemed with trilobites, ancient arthropods that scuttled along the seabed, and sea scorpions, fearsome predators in their own right, prowled the depths. Yet even amongst these formidable creatures, Dunkleosteus reigned supreme, the undisputed apex predator of its time. But the reign of Dunkleosteus, like all things, was destined to end. The late Devonian extinction, one of the most devastating events in Earth's history, brought drastic environmental changes reshaping the planet and its inhabitants in profound ways. Sea levels plummeted, coastlines shifted, and habitats vanished. Oxygen levels in the oceans declined, creating vast dead zones where life struggled to survive. Food webs collapsed, ecosystems unraveled, and the delicate balance of the Devonian seas was shattered. Placoderms, including the mighty Dunkleosteus, simply couldn't adapt to these rapidly changing conditions. They couldn't survive the upheaval, and vanished from the face of the earth, leaving behind only fossilized remains as a testament to their existence. Their extinction, though tragic, cleared the way for new forms of life to emerge, to fill the ecological niches they left behind. For sharks, ancient predators that would eventually rise to prominence. And for bony fish, the ancestors of most fish species we see today, to diversify and flourish. Ultimately shaping the oceans we know today, a world teeming with life, yet forever changed by the events of the Devonian period. The fall of Dunkleosteus serves as a stark reminder, a cautionary tale etched in the fossil record. It shows how even the most formidable predators, the apex of their ecosystems, can be undone by a changing world, a world that demands adaptation and resilience in the face of relentless environmental pressures. The stories of these lost giants are more than ancient tales. They're lessons about life's fragility. From Megalodon's fall to climate change to the stellar sea cow's tragic end, no dominion is permanent. Today's ocean giants, the blue whale, sperm whale, whale shark, face threats that echo the past, climate change, shifting food webs, and human impact. The fate of the stellar sea cow warns us of the consequences of inaction. We have the power to destroy, but also the responsibility to protect. By supporting marine conservation and making sustainable choices, we can help ensure today's giants don't share the same fate. Let's keep their stories alive, not just as fossils, 
but as living wonders in our seas. The echoes of the deep urge us to learn, act, and protect. What will you do to help?